Aloha, welcome to day 34. So right now I want to assume that you know about Swami T and you're gonna repeat his videos. What I'd like to do is kind of get you to start focusing on some other really good sources of information. One is called the Bahava Gita. And the Bahava Gita is on my app. You can find it in How Can I, the printer. It's a link um, to YouTube. But go inquire about the Bahava Gita and listen to it and think of it as spiritual poetry. Gandhi used to speak through the Bahava Gita and he challenged people to practice it, to listen to it and apply it and to see if you would ever hurt any living creature. I love that challenge. And the truth is, I didn't know about that challenge before, but I listen to Bahava Gita a lot. And you're gonna find that this poetry helps fill in the gaps of our inability to comprehend everything. So you're gonna find that it reuses the gunas and some of the things that you are familiar with in the Bahava Gita. And what I like to say is uh, take it with a grain of salt Take everything with a grain of salt. I wouldn't believe everything. Um, you're going to miss the point if you believe. Where there's a lot of symbolism <laughs> and a lot of uh, analogies. and It's beautiful. It'll get your mind to start not thinking, but huh, choosing or understanding. There's a, more of a process that we can go through rather than if trying to believe if something's real or not real. Good luck on your journey. Aloha.